Hello. <laughs> Anywho. There is a... mathematically proven population suffering from thoughts of hanging themselves. Now, saying that is pretty um, dramatic. But if it's not hanging themselves, then it's something along the lines of putting a gun to their head. And they do this because they have raised consciousness in their culture. And they don't know how obnoxious they are to themselves. It's like they're not really tired of their drama. And they keep in the complexity of the soul going it round and round. And they have these committees in their brain. And it might be you. And you have little board of directors telling you that you're a piece of crap and that you're worthless. And you've basically reached a certain age, maybe, or you just are lonely. And you have lost the ability to attract charm or things that are going to through the human nature and the experience of life give you charm because there's money. Maybe you're broke. And according to your mind, one of the options is to do away with life. And you can feel Satan in your body because he makes you feel good about spending money and affirming yourself. Though you, in this conception, have taken advantage of mindfulness and you realize those things have made you terribly rotten and harmoniously, as everything has life and then death, you might as well get a head start at the coffin and in your desperation and your view of being a fool, have to admit to yourself that you're suicide worthy. These thoughts going through your mind are because you're sick. And that's one of the reasons why you just want to put it into it all. Because you've really tried to be a good person, but you're just an individual that responds to the color red. That means trouble. You are prone to havoc, and you are a failure. According to the world's definition. After all the spending, and after all the partying, and after all the drinking, and smoking cigarettes, and whatever your gig has been, heroin, or just sleeping around, or going to church, and manipulating men and women, and then having an affair behind your spouse's back, whatever, only know that the stimulus now is regret. And there is a spirit that has attached itself to money that has your face on it because you want to rule the world. And you're having a hard time 
being unaccompanied by greed. You want to be accompanied by things that promote slander and wreckage. And in correspondence to your sin, you have become truly dark. You are entitled to do whatever you want. Maybe you're a bad husband to your wife. Maybe you're a bad father to your daughter or your son. And you've gone out out of reverence and the whole decision making that you've made with your board of directors, okay, in your head, playing the record player kind of thing, putting you through a lot of psychobabble kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about to allow yourself to be deceived because of instant gratification and what you're going to get when you graduate from out of that marriage or that commitment you have with your church or your work force or colleagues to now reach a higher level of scum. And you might be a white collar worker or you might be a blue collar worker. But you've made this introduction thoroughly so that as a reverent egomaniac joker, you're out to wreck other marriages or other families or play around with boys. Everything around you, you know, is owned by cash. And you know it's rigged by the devil. And you still justify through your applied logic because you're getting your way or you're getting away with it. And getting away with it means not getting caught with your hand inside the cookie jar. Because the more times you stick your hand inside the cookie jar and get out your cookie, the harder the candy gets, and it's really delish. Because the harder the candy in the mouth, the longer it's gonna last. And all you are is indifferent to anything legitimate. So you've taken advantage of, let's say, your charm and the good things that have come your way, and you have bad energy, and you have a really, really, really horrific aura. And so doors don't open for you the way they may be used to. So you're going behind bushes or you're going in a sketchy area of society, the streets, the bars, social networking websites, to masturbate your ego. Because in the real world, Things don't work for you because you polluted yourself. You diluted your issues with self-doubt because you know you're a con man. So where do you go? This has always worked. And there's many, many things that you can read. Ecclesiastes, chapter 7. A good name is better than precious ointment. Having a good name of integrity as a man goes much further than even having a pretty wife or pretty kids or a nice Porsche, or whatever car you like to drive. And the day of death, then the day of one's birth. When you can die to your ego, and you can die to your little games, and your little crooked, scheming ways as men, that will be the start of a new day. 
better to go to the house of the morning than to go to the house of feasting, where people are, of course, feeding their fat faces. Maybe you are the one that feeds our fat face or drinks a lot of gulps of liquor. And you don't think it's going to catch up with you. Well, you don't mind looking like you've aged, but it catches up with your soul. And you choose dark things to get certain things met. Your sorrow is better than laughter when you face these crimes of heart. Listen, if you're thinking about hanging yourself or blowing your brains out, it's because you nobody because you know nobody is there to feed off of your lies. I want you to think about repenting and turning away from your greed and corruption. That will save you.